I think most people would say that Texas Children's is the birthplace of pediatric electrophysiology. There are many of these arrhythmias in children that they come in and it's debilitating. And then we take them to the cath lab for some therapy. We could put catheters in specific spots in the heart and evaluate the rhythm. And then in one stop, they're cured. Well, your heart sounds great. Thank you. So I think every facet of electrophysiology or heart rhythm disturbances is just advancing at a tremendous rate. Electrophysiology is that study of abnormal rhythms, and we deal with those abnormal rhythms in children. And it spans from fetuses to the neonate to the child, and now all the way through the young adult. In the, in the past year, we've seen about 2,500 children in outpatient clinic. At the same time, we read somewhere between 50 to 100 ECGs a day, 15 to 20 holters a day, and around five exercise treadmills a day. So outpatient clinical volume uh, kind of falls within that realm. From a standpoint of interventional electrophysiology, in the last year we've done uh, 230 cases. I think it is important to us to uh, measure outcomes in all regards, and I think that includes not only the clinical stuff, but um, academics, education, as well as, as well as clinical. And so we, uh, as the rest of the Heart Center, is uh, keen on looking at those kinds of outcomes and looking at the accuracy of interpretation of tests, looking at the outcomes of our interventional procedures. 95% of the time, if you come into the cath lab, that you are going to come out with a cure. Texas Children's Hospital, uh, thankfully, had the foresight to invest in alternative navigation means. One of those is magnetic navigation, uh, and our uh, system is a stereotaxis system, and that system allows us to manipulate catheters in the heart by computer and magnets around the body. And we're the only uh, freestanding children's hospital in the country that has this system. It's important to us to continue to train uh, electrophysiologists for the future. And we've had an, uh, a training fellow for electrophysiology for uh, the last 20 plus years. Many of those people have gone on to be uh, directors of other arrhythmia groups or uh, division heads for either pediatrics or, or pediatric cardiology.